Hey, welcome to the future. Pinbot for the NES. <laughs> yeah, this game, uh... This game was pretty impressive for the NES when it came out. Uh, this is supposed to, supposed to be like a future, uh, pinball machine. But, I mean, it looks pretty sharp for, uh, the NES. And it had voice. Pretty early game to have some voice in it. And so the way... I mean, you know, just a... Just a one pinball machine. And, uh, oops. Alright, alright, I get it. So, uh... All right, here we go. I apologize for the corny intro. I just, uh, I don't know. Just trying to have a little fun here. Trying to enjoy a little bit of life. Oh. Yeah, uh, I played this game. Man, I remember when playing this a lot. And same with the other uh, NES pinball. So I'm getting glitches off this, aren't I? Oh, the NES pinball I played often. Apologize for that jerky thing it's doing. It uh, must be my setup here. Tends to not be perfect all the time. Alright. Yeah, I played this game a lot. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I just don't remember a lot of knowing what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, other, you know, it's a pinball machine, but I don't remember uh, how to get multi-ball. Or really, uh, you know, there, there's objectives that you... I don't even understand what he said. I see the arrow up there. I mean, I'm not that stupid. I just can't get it up there. But... I don't like that, is that what he said? Actually, I don't think I want to get in the center one. Get up there, come on. Now I see you, I think. Ah, there's multi-ball, look at that. Hmm, I try I can't catch, up, catch that one. It says you are something, I don't know what. There we go. Hit it. All right. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. For, what would this game come out sometime before the 90s? 80-something. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, ah, you are again something I can't catch. Catch you just saying. Yeah, I'm racking up some points here. Not doing so bad. But yeah, this game, uh, early on, uh, you know, this was impressive. This, I remember the graphics, of the graphics of this were pretty impressive to me at the time. See, I don't know where that, why that ball just dropped right out for me there. It's all right. Not sure what's going on here. There's no uh no tilt buttons on this one. Yeah, it looks like So and I, I also don't know if uh if you can beat this. Like if this is a game that has an actual finish or if it's just, you know, your pinball, regular video pinball. I don't know. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you could actually, like, finish this somehow. If you can get credits to roll. Or if that's just, if it just keeps, keeps your score and that's it. Yeah, that was another complaint I had about, like, some old games I remember having scores, high scores, and would reset every time you turned off. Just like, that was the dumbest. Why well, have it, you know? You're not going to leave your machine on or go write your score down on paper so that you can remember uh, remember it. I don't know. I, remember, I, just, I can't remember any particular game but I do remember it happening to me. When I, in a, it was some kind of pinball game, I thought. Probably the, any, the Nintendo pinball. Could even be this damn game. So, uh, yeah. I, Uranus. Interesting. Uh, and that is, uh... That is Pinbot. For the NES. I think I'm gonna probably call it here. But yeah, check it out uh, if you if you like video pinball. It's a retro NES title. It's not so uh, not so bad. Pretty good. But the only unfortunate thing is it's just one table. Nowadays standards, you should get what at least four or so. I don't know. I saw one that was released recently that had four tables. But, alright. Well, that's Pinbot. I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.